his wife, his daughter, they were everything to him. Searching for answers, a local family has to live without the man who worked hard to provide for them. A Cleves family mourning the loss of a father, husband, brother, and best friend. And what makes it even harder, the hit and run driver who killed Doug Griffin is still on the loose. Yeah, and so now Griffin's family has to find a way to cover his daughter's medical bills. WLWT News Vice Karen Johnson talked exclusively with the family today. Karen? And Cherie, Doug Griffin is described as a fun-loving family man. He left for work the other day as an over-the-road truck driver. He said goodbye to his family, but never made it home. You can um, like, come to my birthday if you want. Four-year-old Lizzie can't stop talking about her big bash. Only this year, someone special won't be there to celebrate her fifth birthday. Daddy, go to heaven. Her father, 29-year-old Doug Griffin, died this week. The FedEx truck driver was killed just outside of Columbus. His semi broke down on I-70. When his colleague, Michael West, showed up to help, another driver crashed into them. Griffin was killed, West seriously hurt. The driver who hit them took off. How inhumane can you be to just leave? How do you hit two people that are over 200 pounds and not know you hit them? As if having to deal with a loss isn't enough, the Griffins have a lot of hospital bills, and insurance will run out in six months. Lizzie has medical issues which began at birth. She was their little miracle, and five weeks old before she came home from the hospital, and had open heart surgery. She was born with a triple heart defect, cleft palate, and respiratory issues. Her family says she still has weekly visits to the doctor. One of the reasons her dad worked so hard and at the same time made it a point to be there for every procedure. I mean, he just, he stayed right by her side. He didn't leave her. Now he's been taken from her and his wife, Leslie. He wanted to watch his daughter do dance. Wanted to watch his nephews play baseball. Wanted more daddy-daughter fishing trips. Who's daddy watching over right now? Do you remember? Yeah. And at this point, OSB says it does not have a description of the hit and run driver or of the car that driver was driving. Friends of the Griffins have set up a GoFundMe site to help with expenses. If you'd like to donate, go to our website, WLWT.com. Reporting live, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. The Griffins, uh, Griffins family, I should say, is also concerned about Michael West's family, the other victim. He's a father of two young children and is in critical but stable condition.